Hey y'all and welcome back to another video of my creative life with So Sweetie. It is Vlogmas Day 3. I got that right this time. <laughs> I, today I want to work on um, book reviews. I have a really important opportunity coming up and I have not done a book cover me work in some time and I've read some really great books that I feel like need some better covers. The Push. The Push is one of them. I don't think the Push cover was bad, but it's not ominous enough. I feel like, not saying that my covers are ominous. <laughs> Y'all should know by now I make very colorful work. But I feel like it wasn't, wasn't enough of an Easter egg of where the book was going. And I love an Easter egg in a book cover. So I'm going to work on my Push Um illustration book rework cover rework today that I've been wanting to work on for some time and I love illustrated horror and illustrated thrillers and sci-fi covers I feel like a lot of illustrators did a lot of work that is around romance novels and YA novels and I I would like something that's very like strange and off-putting about a bright illustrated cover for a very creepy dark book i i feel like the juxtaposition of it would be so much creepier like this thing between us it's not like a bright color but it's a very interesting cover um night bitch like that's an actual like picture rather than illustration but it's bright and it's something very different and like grabbing i'm tired of like eerie photography that had like a filter over it not to down people who make those because to be honest with you that's a whole skill set I don't have but I just want to see something different that is what we will be doing today in today's vlog is I will be spending the next hour or so working on some book rework cover reworks and I know this the push I know it's the last house on the English street I it might be dead silence I'm the last one's kind of a toss-up on what it will be I think that I even at some point when my mind was running one night and I couldn't go to sleep I feel like I wrote down ideas of what yes I did I did do that so okay here are my book cover ideas from a night when my brain was turned off the push I want to do like um a Russian doll type of thing like a doll inside of a doll and like these Russian dolls kind of look how I think that the, the mother characters look and like they're not smiling and pretty and happy or whatever but there's like something cracked in them because I really the push is about generational trauma especially as a mother and the idea that be, that the cycle of becoming a mother when you either don't want to be or aren't ready to be can result in you passing down this like depressive trait and everything to your offspring amazing concept and I thought like this Russian doll of a one inside of another thing would be really interesting and make you think like what does that do for the grand scope of the book. So that's one. Um, another one was Dark Matter. Okay, I remember this now. I did not like the cover of Dark Matter. I got where it was going in a typography type of way. Like, okay, this is foreshadowing for what this book is about. But I wanted something more illustrative. So. I want to, it's about clones. It's about other universes, universes, universes and clones. And I think that that's really interesting. So I want to do like sheep clone illustrations and maybe this inside of a copy and paste computer screen to bring it back to where like the science was coming from and how they were traveling. I love that idea. Pascal, see, that was a great idea. <laughs> Uh, then there was Little Eyes. Little Eyes I read earlier this year and it wasn't impressive for me. It was alright. I rated it a 3. I think I really liked the idea of it and the idea of the social um, experiment that it was. Essentially the book is about like these little Furbies that have AI in them and they're like treated like pets and there's something, they're like um, very surveillance. And you can either be the surveillance -y or the surveillance -er. While the stories in it, I do think were great. It was not as like scary as I kind of was expecting it to be. 
I wanted something more illustrated, so I wanted to do a like Furby type illustration with the eyes in the lower third of the book. I feel like that would be like cute and even more like the baby. Rouge. I just finished that. That was, I know y'all sick and hearing it, but that was a great buddy read. It was a fantastic one. And on the front of it, I realized actually the cover is great because it's foreshadowing for what the ending of the book is. And you don't, when you don't know what it is, you're like, oh, that's, I guess it's supposed to be a rose and everything. Um, but it's actually like an upside down jellyfish that looks abstract, which is cool. But with the way that it ended and everything, I want mannequins with their makeup done on the front of it. If you know, you know about the mannequins in the book. That's the idea. I've also added my stay and my house on the other street in there now. Which for that one, I want instead on the cover that I have, it has the black cat and the house. It, which makes sense. It's a beautiful picture. I want something a little bit more simplified. I just want a deep freezer. So yeah, those are my ideas. We'll see where I get to in the amount of time that we have. Let's get into it. So I am filming an outro as well as, because I remembered this time, you see growth already, day three and there's so much growth, uh, as well as showing you guys the final result of the cover reworks that I did. 
I ended up only being able to finish two. Both of these took longer than I expected, but I had a really great time doing them. I'm gonna go through what I might change on one of them or what I would do differently. I may try this again for one of these covers. After talking to my partner, there were just some better ideas on the way that I could have gone about this because I'm not as happy with one of the covers as I am as I am about another cover. I think that I have a lot of other ideas and I do want to, maybe in the next couple of days or so, I wanna try this again and do another two covers based off of the ideas that I had. I do know one thing, I really do need to practice my lettering and I feel extremely overwhelmed when it comes to lettering. I feel like that's one thing that as far as designing book covers or just assets or anything that I post that has like any sort of like information added to it, I have this illustration that I'm happy with and then I basically just slap some text on it. And more times than not, I'm not really happy with <laughs> just the text being on there. I think that's one thing going into the new year I really want to practicing it better at and that's lettering. I really want to get better at it. I just feel like it's one thing that I fall for, like flat on when it comes to illustrating or designing or anything like that. I basically can only use the text that I kind of have and my handwriting. I just feel not great at it. <laughs> that's a little like creative goal I think maybe I'll, I'll, I think that'd be cool for me to maybe create some creative goals for next year as opposed to like your usual New Year's goals but let's get into the book covers that I created I'm gonna show the one that I'm not as happy with first because I'm just not as happy with it and I have a lot more to kind of discuss in regards to it um, as I talk about it I'm going to put it here future editing me here Thank you. One thing that I just wasn't the happiest with the original cover was it's a Ror Rorschach uh, ink blot that like is from psychology and the idea of doubles and I just don't think that it really had any sort of Easter egg to the story. Now there is a very, and that's the, the kind that the, the cover that I currently have. Now, in my research, which wasn't extensive, I found another cover that I loved a whole lot more and I wish I had that book. I think it was the UK edition that had one of those like kind of toy miniature type of um, photography that they do where it kind of, it looks like little miniatures, but it's, I don't know if I can explain it correctly, but it, it looks like a toy miniature and it's of a playground where a slide is and everything. I love that because it was foreshadowing of one of the first times that she knew that her daughter was kind of like off. And I like this idea of this Russian doll of trauma. So Russian dolls came to mind and I like the idea. I don't really like how I executed it, but it's too cute. And it also, it's cute in a way that's not professional. It's just kind of cute in a way that's cute. I think now talking to my partner, a better way to do this would have probably have been a pattern, which I think I'm going to try again at making this cover. I maybe want to do a repeating pattern of these different size Russian dolls and do more um, detail and just a better job of illustrating each one um then kind of how i have it here where i was kind of keeping it loose so yeah that is the first one i made i i still think it's a good idea and i like the idea i just don't feel like i transferred it here to the best of my ability but we will try again i think i'm going to try it again in another video when i try to do some more book covers the second one I did, I'm super excited and happy with how it turned out. So Dark Matter is about essentially different universes and cloning. If, you, if you're a Marvel fan, Secret Wars. It's Secret Wars. It's exactly what it is, essentially. <laughs> but from the point of view of like now put some actual like, not superheroes, but regular people and regular people wanting regular people things like love and family and this that and the other and wanting to steal another clone's life because they have those things. It's a great book. I read it earlier this year. 
like this science fiction type novel. I but I I don't think the cover is great. <laughs> they basically repeated it was same colors of red and black, which I think you know work for the cover and work for what this book is. But as for the actual cover, it's just the title repeated and layered on it. It was very simple, but I just don't I don't feel like it did it justice for how good the book is, to be honest. It doesn't really pull you in. So I <laughs> came with this idea about sheep and I don't know where this idea about sheep being cloned started. I know that I've watched, I watched Burn After Reading at a very early age. So um, there's something there I know for sure as far as my personal experience with cloning of sheep. But yeah, I don't really know where that all originated, but I just, I thought clones, sheep. We will make sheep clones. Um, and then I thought of a black sheep. Oh, the main character is this black sheep of all these different clones and stuff because his life is different from all of those variations of himself and they all want his life. That's where this idea was born. I really loved how I handled, I bought these brushes from True Grit Supply last year during Black Friday and they were their like comic book shaders. I've used it for basically just texture and not actual shading because I was a little bit intimidated by not really knowing what I was doing with them. And I think I accidentally kind of used those shaders in this image. Like I think I was originally going to use it for a texture type of thing. And then in an effort of using different type of filters and everything for the layer that I put on top of this, it just, it worked really well. I love how graphic it looks now because the the book itself is very much written like a graphic novel-y bro science fiction type of thing and I think that that comic book shading runs that way and everything. So I'm super happy with how this turned out. I wish that the push one was moving in this sort of direction so that is why I had to redo the push because I saw this one and I went ah oh, yes I still know how to make something from my mind and it come to life properly the the push was a warm-up i feel like maybe one of these days i'll do a full day of just creating book covers and that way it can kind of just get me moving as opposed to oh i just have like an hour and a half or so to do this currently i'm running behind because today i have also found out from doing these <laughs> that i cannot go over a 30 minute vlog for these it takes far too much time to edit and um especially if like you like you all have to understand that like a 30 minute 40 minute video has been edited down from probably an hour to an hour 15 hour and 20. i have to watch all of that back to put in all of my markers for captions for illustrations and stuff like that put make those illustrations put them into the video or the vlog along with the sound effects and the music and everything now upload it and now download it into my computer to upload onto youtube it's a huge process and today was a learning experience that we cannot do more than 30 minute videos so thank you to those who've watched my first my last my first vlog see and this is also how i can tell like this is why people get lost i can tell now when they're doing this because they're like working four or five vlogs they're editing one one's already up from two days down they're editing the one from yesterday they're filming the one from today they're thinking about planning the one for tomorrow it's just like okay everything's going together a little mini update on my reading second day in a row that the becky chambers book a long way to a small angry planet it's such a long title um has made me smile while i'm listening to it it is actually very interesting or at least the characters are they're they're interesting to hear like them kind of work through things and talk through things and their personalities are interesting enough and everything for me to keep on listening nothing has really happened as of yet we're nearly 20 percent in and nothing of like oh my god things are going something's happening um has happened which it is a cozy sci-fi so <laughs> that's to be expected but somehow i'm still listening 
so it's going good i guess so far i'll see y'all in the next one um but you know subscribe and like if you enjoyed seeing a little bit of a process behind me when i'm designing some book covers and everything um and i hope that it was somewhat interesting i'll see y'all in the next one bye <laughs>